We're going to do an overview of the organs found in the cat's abdominal cavity. We'll start with the diaphragm. And caudal to the diaphragm sits the liver, the largest organ in the abdominal cavity. It's this dark organ found here. And beneath the liver is the stomach. And beneath the stomach lies the spleen, this long organ that you see here, served by the splenic artery. Between the spleen and the stomach, there's a lot of adipose tissue, and we will just move that out of our way for now. And we have the small intestine found here, and a little bit later we'll look at where that large intestine is. We're going to push those organs to the cat's right side and look at the organs along the cat's left side. First, we see the kidney, the left kidney found here get a close-up view of that kidney. And the renal vein is coming into the kidney right there. And this little bean-like structure right there is the cat's adrenal gland. So the adrenal gland has this vein that lies across the top. It's been broken in this specimen, but that is the adrenal gland found right there. Here we see the abdominal aorta with the celiac trunk branching off of it right away. This is a close-up view of the celiac trunk. Just beyond that, caudally, we find a very large artery right here. This is the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery serves the small intestine as well as portions of the large intestine. we see the beginning of the abdominal aorta. The first branch coming off of the abdominal aorta is the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk has three branches, the splenic artery, which is Y-shaped and serves the spleen, seen here, the darker organ, the gastrosplenic vein lies alongside the splenic artery, and that's part of the portal circulation, so those vessels have been injected with yellow latex. The next branch off of the celiac trunk is the small left gastric artery, seen here. The left gastric artery serves the stomach. The branch that in this specimen lies just below the le left gastric artery is the hepatic artery. The hepatic artery serves the liver. So the celiac trunk has three branches, the splenic artery, the left gastric artery, and the hepatic artery. Going back to the abdominal aorta, the next vessel we come to as we move caudally is the very large superior mesenteric artery, which serves the small intestine. The superior mesenteric artery lies next to the superior mesenteric vein, which is part of the portal circulation shown here. Moving back to our abdominal aorta, we're going to locate our adrenal gland, which is seen here. The next branches we're going to look at off of the abdominal aorta are the adrenolumbar arteries. Lying on top of the adrenal gland here, you can see the adrenolumbar vein. The artery lies beneath. If we reflect the kidney back, we can better see these vessels. So the adrenal lumbar artery and vein feed out into the dorsal body cavity wall and serve the lumbar region as well as the adrenal glands. close-up view of that adrenal gland again, and the adrenal lumbar vein lies across the top. Here's the renal vein coming into the kidney, and here's the renal artery, which lies beneath the renal vein. 